How to do a titration by kscience.com. To do a titration, we need to have an unknown concentration of an alkali where we don't know the concentration of this alkali. And we have a known concentration of an acid. For example, we know the concentration is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. So if we did a titration, a titration measures the exact volumes of an acid and an alkali needed to react with each other. And once the titration is finished, we can use these volumes to calculate the concentration of the alkali. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The apparatus needed for a titration includes a volumetric pipette and a pipette filler. So this is the volumetric pipette. The volumetric pipette measures a fixed volume of the unknown concentration. For example, 25.0 centimeters cubed of the unknown concentration up to this line here. And the pipette filler is what provides the suction for the unknown concentration to go into the volumetric pipette. This line I'm drawing now represents the meniscus. And when we zoom in on the volumetric pipette, we can see the meniscus is a curved surface. So the meniscus is a curved surface where it curves above the line. To make sure the volume of the unknown concentration is accurate, we read from the bottom of the meniscus where it is the most flat. This is a conical flask and the conical flask contains the unknown concentration measured in the volumetric pipette. The conical flask with the unknown concentration then goes on a white tile, on a white tile. A few drops of the acid base indicator is placed into the conical flask with the unknown concentration. The acid base indicator will tell us when the end point has been achieved using a color change. A burette which has a tap and gradations going up the sides is then placed on top of the conical flask. This is the burette and the burette contains the known concentration. The known concentration of acid goes into the burette. When we zoom in on the meniscus, we can see how the meniscus goes in between the gradation. Because of this, burettes are graduated every 0.1 cubic centimeters. So measurements can be taken every 0.05 cubic centimeters. When taking measurements using a burette, place your eyes next to where the measurement it needs to be recorded. So measure at eye level. And remember, the burette is graduated every 0.1 cubic centimeters. So readings can be taken every 0.05 cubic centimeters. And finally, it's the tap which is slowly opened each time to release a small volume of acid swirling the conical flask each time. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to focus on how to carry out a titration in detail. To begin with, the volumetric pipette is rinsed with distilled water and then the alkali. The next stage is to measure the volume of alkali using a volumetric pipette and a pipette filler. Make sure to do this properly by placing your eyes next to the gradation where the alkali needs to reach. In the next stage, the unknown concentration of alkali is placed in a conical flask on a white tile. Then a few drops of the acid base indicator are added to the conical flask, which is then swelled. This acid base indicator is swelled in the conical flask. In the next stage, the volumetric pipette is rinsed with distilled water and then the acid. Remember, the alkali is the unknown concentration. 
and the acid is the known concentration. We're doing this titration to figure out what is the concentration of the alkali. When adding the acid to the conical flask, at eye level, first measure the volume of acid in the burette. Then open the tap to slowly release a small volume of acid, swirling the conical flask. You need to swirl the conical flask. The point at which an acid and an alkali have completely reacted is the end point. And near the end point, the acid is added dropwise, one drop at a time, until there is a complete colour change. At this exact moment, Neutralization has taken place. This is the end point. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. A titer is the recorded volume of acid required to neutralize the known volume of alkali. And the first titer is a rough estimate only. Therefore, you need to repeat the titration three more times so titers are as accurate as possible until the titers are concordant. Concordant is when you have precise results which are at least 0.1 cubic centimeters within each other. And it's important to ignore anomalous results. Do not include anomalous results in your mean data. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.